Hi, I'm Christian Ontis. Hi, and I'm David Talinski. We are working as research assistants at the Department of Energy and Plant Technology at the Ruhr University Bochum. Our research is focused on the experimental investigation of pyrolysis and shark conversion in pulverized oxyfuel atmospheres. The subproject A2 is divided in two research areas, and I am working on the pyrolysis. I have just finished my master thesis and I start to work now on the char conversion part. In A2, we try to understand the impact of the oxyfuel atmospheres. We try to identify which minerals have catalytic effects and how the morphology of the particles change. Now, let us show you our experimental setups. Behind me, you can see the framework of the drop tube reactor that I use to characterize the pyrolysis. Inside the reactor, the particles are falling from a cooled injection tube into a hot reaction zone where the particles heat up rapidly and pyrolyze. After a changeable reaction distance, the particles and the pyrolysis gases are being sucked into the sampling probe. Then the particles are separated by a ceramic filter and the gases are live analyzed by an FTIR and a GC. The tasks are being collected by a tar trap. With an experimental campaign, at multiple reaction distances, temperatures and atmospheres, and with an extensive sample analysis, we are able to lay the foundation to understand the pyrolysis better. Thus, we were able to establish that chars pyrolyzed in an uh, oxyfuel atmosphere are kinetically less reactive and have a higher porosity. Right now, we are here in our optic lab where I am standing in front of our setup where we do experimental research on char combustion. The setup contains a burner, our optical measurement system and a probe. With the burner we can create high heating rates in different atmospheres. We can analyze various fuels, for example biomass or coals. Here you see an example of how the particular streams look in different atmospheres. Let's move on to the second part. The second part is our optical measurement system with four ICCD cameras. The cameras can measure the temperature, the particle velocity, and the shapes and size of particles. One camera is coupled with a backlight system. Here we can detect all particles, even the particles that are not burning. The last part is our probe. With the probe we can collect samples at any stages of the burning process, which we can then analyze. Here you see a short video of how we collect the samples of our probe. Finally, we would like to highlight the most important corporations of A2 in the CRC. Together with Stefan Pietsche in Aachen, we further develop detailed network models. At the RUP, we are working together with Christine Flieger and Till Eckert on catalytic effects. Furthermore, we are working with Carsten Wedler on the porosity development of the chart. And all this data is going to Paolo De Viaggi in Aachen, who is working on the overall oxyfuel model called Crack SB. Thank you for watching.